How's it going, Internet? I'm Rip Carter. Welcome to another episode of TikToks, and today I'm joined by my friend Christian, also known as TLMC The Light Music Club. And today we're talking about a topic that we haven't covered just yet, but um, I'm pretty anxious to get into because it's really fun to talk about. And we're going to talk about anime. And so, Ooh. yeah, woo, anime! Um, one, of us, one of us is clearly an anime fan. Um, it's mine, judging by the giant spider up there. That's very... Oh, I don't know directions. Uh, that's very anime, obviously. Obviously. Um, but before we get into it and everything, how about you just how, let the people know. What is What do you do? Who is TLMC? Yeah, um, so like like you said, my name is TLMC. I, uh, I'm really just amazingly into anime. It's just become my lifestyle at this point. I've met so many friends, some so many awesome people. I've traveled across the country to go see go see music acts from anime at conventions and all different types of stuff i've been watching anime i think uh since i want to say 2012 so my sophomore in between my sophomore and junior year of high school Mm -hmm. and so it's it's just been a wild ride since then um you can kind of sort of see my figure shelf here in the back i have way too many at this point i have like eight more on pre-order but overall just a just a lot of a lot of stuff uh it's it, it's been fun and like I, a lot of people are like oh well you spend too much time doing it but like i've met so many people through it and yeah it's just it's great i mean it brought you here it brought you yeah to me. exactly right um, exactly <laughs> but I, I think it's interesting that you mentioned you started like in 2012 because i think that's also around when i like really got into it right because i like you know we, we you actively or passively watch anime for saturday morning cartoons like dragon ball and stuff like that and but Pokemon, there's a yeah there's yeah. a there's a point where you're like wait i like i want to i want to watch anime you go out of your yeah. way to get into the genre Definitely. and to investigate and everything like that um so you know we kind of lightly touched up on it but how did you get your start what was like what got yeah. you into anime so i i think the biggest thing was uh my sister my older sister she's a year older than me she went to otakon and she was telling me all about these shows and stuff and i was like yeah yeah whatever you know i i was on the track and field team and you know what i mean so i was very much okay i play pokemon that's the nerd thing i do that's sports, the one sports, sports. everybody gets one nerd yeah, thing exactly exactly uh, exactly the rest is just testosterone <laughs> yeah right and, 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 and so i was like at one point i was just like you know maybe i should start checking some of this stuff out so i, I found a couple like super obscure shows on Crunchyroll or whatever nice and i watched them and i was like you know this might actually be kind of like I, after the first one ended i was like wait a minute that's it like i kind of want to watch more of this like what what is similar to this show that i watched or whatever and from there it just it just kind of snowballed and just got kind of crazy really <laughs> no yeah I, I know that like like i said i i had passively like watched dragon ball and naruto and all this other stuff and i think i'm trying to remember if i watched all of naruto like i sat down to actually watch all of the like mainline naruto series uh not including shippuden this was before shippuden was even a thing um and I'm thinking if that was, like, before I got my start, or if that was, like, around then. I just know that there was definitely a point, right, where yeah. I went out of my way to watch stuff because of a friend of mine. And I had this friend in the the first, like, the, the, the episode zero, since the pilot of this show, that friend that I interviewed there, we talked about dailies, we talked about Genshin Impact for a little while, too. Yeah. Um, he's the one that got me Genshin. into it. Yeah, good old Genshin. <laughs> so... I don't know why we got like, like 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 we'd met and we talked and we hanged out more and then one day I think we were just like talking on Skype or something we we're like eating and they were already, already really into anime they're like hey do you want to watch anime with me while we eat and now we've kept this habit since we met like in high school all the way to now to where now I have to like eat while I watch something or like we'll <laughs> often just like like if we watch movies we'll like get food and like watch stuff online together and we have this yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like it's just like a tradition now almost right so it's like hey oh, do you yeah. I'm about to eat some food do you want to watch this with me. <laughs> like yeah sure okay I'll, I'll get some food real quick and we'll and we'll do that and i, I we did yeah, it like yeah. literally like yesterday and it was That's with anything awesome. we just watched like youtube videos but yeah. they decided to yeah. throw me into the deep end first that's how i would get my anime like introduction we watched like the first thing that we like i went out of my way that my friend showed me to really get me into anime was watamode and i don't know if you can help okay. me with the, with the okay. full english translation but i believe it's it's you guys' fault that I'm not popular. Or it's, it's, it's yes, else? yes, yeah. yes. Um, 
which was a trip. That is in like <laughs> insane like anime to like start out with, right? That, I, that's that's one of my best friend's favorite shows because he is all about like cringe compilations, and he considers that show to just be pure exactly cringe. That. Yeah, yeah. It's it was so <laughs> tough, but I remember that like I was watching, I was like, oh my god, this hurts. <laughs> but I'm so into it. Like, like anime. It just I, honestly, I think it's like a really pretty show. Like, I think I, I like the I like the animation for it. Like how the opening is like wild too. Yeah, like, from and, what I remember, and it's just like, fun. Hardcore metal or like whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's nuts. Um, and that was like my my baptism essentially, right? Like yeah. my friend was like, yeah, "What yeah. do you, you know? You watch Naruto, you watch your Bleach, whatever. I'm about to hit you with some a little bit out of left field, just like dunk me in the dunk me in the pool, and um i was hooked and from then on we went to like you know binge a bunch of different series and everything like definitely, that and definitely uh now i'm just kind of like a modern everyday i guess anime watcher but if you had to kind of get into like get to sit down for a day and you have to pick a genre that you have, like what's, what's your go-to genre something that you're like i, I want to feel good or this is what i want to watch um Obviously, you know, my, my username on everything is based off of K-On! Because that was, like, the show that I really, really got obsessed with. Um, I love K-On! Yeah, right? Every, everybody that watches yeah. it, like, is like, oh, I love K-On! Like, yeah. I don't think about it every day, but I love K-On! Yeah. Um, I, I would lean towards, like, that slice-of-life comedy genre. Uh, like, the mixture of the two. Um, and then if, if, we, if we're not going there, it'd probably be towards the, like, romance, drama type stuff. Um... But yeah, not I, I'm not big on shonen. Like I'll watch a little bit of shonen here and there. Um, I, I'd say the um, the only one like I'm really really big into is Food Wars. I that think. makes sense. But I would I would probably stay over towards uh, slice of life comedy that type of stuff. Yeah. I think it's I think it's interesting that because I think you and me are like head on in a sense of that's that's my <laughs> go to slice of life comedy. That's like you know Love Is War, Chaos stuff like that. Like. It breathes life into me, right? There's just Definitely. something, just something a peaceful that happens exactly, to your soul exactly, when you watch exactly. Moe. Like when you just get with that fat <laughs> Moe, and you're just like, oh yeah, you're just caked in it, and like, wow, cute girls doing cute things feels good, man. Um, but we defer, I think, in like the secondaries because I think I, I do prefer a good battle anime. Um, and they're not to say they're they're, it, they're yeah they're not, they're not yeah. bad. It's just it's just like there are some where it's like. Like, My Hero, for instance, I've only seen the first two seasons of it. I plan to watch more of it. But the first season, to me, it was it just like, just felt, eh, it's, it's okay. Like, this didn't knock my socks off. And I think, mm -hmm. I think to me, that's the problem with Shonen is that uh, it's, it's almost so popular that I think it sets my expectations higher. And it's happened with other genres, too. There's um, the show Wotakoi, like, Love is Hard for Otaku. It's like mm -hmm. one of the most popular romance anime lately. I thought it was, I thought it was bad. Like I, I didn't think it was good at all. Like to be perfectly frank with you, and I was just thinking, like, why, why do people like this? Like, that's, is it, that's is, totally. Am fair. I missing something? Did my expectations get too high coming in? There's so many different factors to consider, and I, I, just, I think it's really interesting that uh, it just kind of happens that way. Um, you know what? You know what series you remind me of that I that I'm like that with, and I might get I might get shot up for this. But Attack on Titan. Oh, same. I could not Absolutely get into same. Attack on Titan. Absolutely I was same. like, I, is it is it just like the gore slash shock faster the shock value that's carrying this series across? Yeah. Like people just no. haven't seen anything like this. It's like it's just a very like to me it was seemed I haven't watched it in a long time. But when I did, it was like very generically good. Like I thought it, I don't think it's a bad show, but I thought it was nothing to deserve like well, I'm not gonna say it doesn't deserve the praise that it got, but more like to me, it wasn't as good as people were making out to be, right? No, oh, I, like, I, 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 I completely, I completely agree with you. I um, I have a my anime list account, so that's kind of how I organize what I've mm -hmm. seen, mm -hmm. and I've never dropped like, they they organize it by one season and then another season. So I've never dropped a show in season before. Attack on Titan season three is the only thing I've ever considered really to be like, okay, we really have to think about this now because I, I, I've been stuck on episode five. I think it was for the past nine months or so. Wow. And I just have not had the, cause like, you know, we have all these other seasonal anime that I'm like really enjoying. And I'm just like, do I really want to waste my time with this? And to me, I, I, I think I ranked the first two seasons, five out of tens. I, I just, 
I don't like the characters at all. I think they're very bland. I think people are so like Levi. I think people are crazy about him. I don't. I I, just, I literally have no idea why. <laughs> and it's like it's like a, it's a pretty show. Like mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, the battle scenes are really cool. And but, the premise is interesting. Uh, uh, but it yeah, just... it's like to me to me the re- the 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 moment I fell out of love with it was when we learned. Spoiler warning: If you don't for, know this for this season point, one of Attack on Titan. Yeah, exactly. Um, is when Aaron turns into a tight. To me, I was just like, they advertised it to me as this whole humanity is going to fight the underdog together, the underdog story, essentially. And it all fell apart. And to me, it's like, okay, you know, this whole conspiracy government, you know, yada, yada, that's cool and all, but I don't know if I like the idea of giant monster creatures and politics combining there's another show like that uh called fairy gone by one of my favorite studios pa works they uh it was like about these mythical fairies and stuff and or all around that was this whole political like you know um you know people battling one another in terms of what their status would be and how much power they had and who had control of what and the whole fairy part of that was just garbage to me. Like they should just, I was, I honestly was, it tried to be too many different things. If if you stick, if if they were to just stick to the political side, the conspiracy side, I think I'd like it more. I I just think, you know what I mean? There are some genres or some ideas that they seem cool in theory, combining the two, but after a while, it's just like, uh... and to me, it's like, I'm 45 episodes into attack on Titan. Now I'm thinking, do I really, want to finish this because like my best friend was like christian season three part two is when it changed for me i was like you i absolutely my eyes it. my eyes then, were open it, it became amazing and i was just like do i have the willpower to make it that far and it, i you know what i mean like i said i haven't dropped anything i've been watching stuff since 2012 like like pokemon and dragon ball i have on my on hold list because i just one day i'm going to sit down and watch They're like, very big 12 and then another 12 or whatever but Attack on Titan, man, it's tough. Like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. So there's but actually a few things that I wanted to, to bring up right now because um, I just wanted to mention that I'm, I'm reevaluating. I think, and I think I was wrong. I think we're still right on the secondaries because I'm thinking about like my favorite <laughs> types of anime, um, and I love like Cowboy Bebop, and it's like that's one of. I also love Death Parade, right? And so it's more like this drama suspense type thing. That I really yeah, enjoy, definitely. and I, and I, yeah. I'm thinking of like my reason for like saying that I like a good like battle or show in an anime was Hunter x Hunter, which also has quite a bit of drama and exposition and yeah, all this yeah, yeah. stuff. So um, Hunter x Hunter is a funny one for me because I haven't seen it, but my roommate uh, and this kid, he and I hated living together. So nice. we're, we're good friends now. We're good friends now. We hated living together, and. One of my biggest pet peeves was Hunter x Hunter's a long show. Yes. Right? Pretty yes. long show. Every single time the opening started, he would sing along. <laughs> and I'd be like trying to do homework or whatever. And you know, this kid's cool. Like, I, I don't like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a funny, it's a, it's all funny to me now. Like, I don't, I, I would never hate him, but that's just hilarious to me that he used to do that. So because of that, it's, I, I feel like it's almost like a PTSD factor where I'm just like, nah. Uh, maybe in the next life we'll try it look nah. I, I, I can relate to that because i love jojo as well jojo is another one of my, like top five series yeah. and stuff like that so i took one of the jojo ops and made it my ringtone to wake up to in the morning like my alarm noise and i cannot i cannot like like and the thing is i'm fine with it but um like my friends who used to live with me and like my girlfriend and everything whenever they, they they'd wake up and hear it they now have like a personal like sense of of anxiousness and alarm dread, and right, yeah anytime yeah. they hear the song and i'm just like sitting here i'm just like jamming out too and i'm like yeah we're good and they're just like please no i don't want to wake up i mean that's relatable like uh, i'll sometimes because like i have the uh i like the darling and the franks opening theme mm-hmm. and um i have that as my ringtone um the show's contents are another matter but um the uh when sometimes i'll accidentally set my old alarm like the the standard one and that was what i had all throughout oh, college like so i'd take like a nap 
in between classes or like before track practice uh -huh. and that would ring and i'm just like whenever i hear that now i'm just like oh man like, please no <laughs> five more minutes mom exactly exactly but that's that's crazy now i've, I've hence changed it to um like my actual ringtone like it's like a remix of the cowboy bebop opening which is really fun okay. and it also happens to be the pillarman team theme from jojo so oh, okay. whenever i'd wake up you just hear like ay, 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 ay. Dun, 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 dun. and i just wake up to that and i just like come out of bed just like Whoo! and um it just get me hype and ready for the day you have risen from the dead exactly you have risen. <laughs> so i also wanted to talk about you reminded me when we talked about the, just the will of being able to get through a series um we'll talk about this a little bit more after we're done with this but i want to mention like i caught up on ruby yesterday okay i haven't seen the newest episode yet we've talked about ruby a few yes. times yes. and i think ruby is uh, one of those series that at least for me for a while i was just watching it because i'd come this far right it's kind of the same thing mm -hmm. with, no, with, with bleach yeah. i got to the same point um and this season has been slowly changing my mind to like just like i'm watching ruby because i enjoy to watch it yeah because i'm looking forward and i watched the latest episode like last night and everything and after that i was just like huh i'm gonna watch it probably like later tonight yeah so. I, I was just like huh I sure do wish I hadn't, didn't have to wait a week for the next one. Yeah. Just no, I... So it's just tough whenever you get a series like that. Um, thankfully, right with us, it seems like Ruby's taking like, like the, the, we're, we're out of the hump, right? We're out of the slump. Yeah. There's literally a point last night where I was watching, I was catching up on like the latest two episodes because I was behind like a week. And I was just yeah. like, there's just a point with, and like, I think um, episode, what, 10? I think that was because it's 11 this week. And yeah. I was just like, wow, wait, 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 wait. we're out of the slump. We did it. We did. Wait, wait, wait. The show can be good now. The, sh the show can be. We did it. Like all the problems that I had before. Yeah. No, I get you. Definitely. Just in that one episode, just started getting fixed one after another, and it wasn't like big things. It was just like these minor little like little, personal little issues yeah. that I was annoyed with. That I was just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. wait, wait, wait. I can, That's the best when you're watching a show, I can enjoy like any the show type again. of show. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And then that happens. You're like, wait a second. Or like even a video game. I'll just be like, you know wow like i didn't see that coming like that's pretty awesome you know what i mean so, no, so I, I get you it's it's good it's good when things do that um but this next this next question i'm gonna i might put you on the spot here for a little bit yeah. <laughs> uh, i don't know if i don't know if you'd ever be prepared to make this but if you had to do an impromptu genre tier list genre okay huh. what would be what would be like the top of your tier list and I mean, That's you know, you tough. can you can try to be unbiased if you want, um, yeah, yeah. but let's be real. We're men of taste here, so. No, no, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to me, I I think I would think the best genre would probably be romance, just because I think that um, I I just think that they create the best characters. That makes if sense. That makes sense. I I, I, like there, there's slice of life too, and I've noticed this a lot more like recently that um, there's been like a couple slice of life shows. I think last season that I was just like, wait a minute, like, like I I already appreciated the genre before, so I'd say I'd say probably romance and slice of life would be like those together. But I was watching slice of life stuff, and I was like, wait a minute, like I feel like I'm starting to appreciate this even more somehow than I already was before. And I, I think it's because there's this subtle and like, you know, people will make those jokes about, oh, how do you and what do you enjoy? Like the grocery shopping arc or whatever. Like, we're like, you know what I mean? Actually, like, yes. Stuff like, Squash was on it, sale and they exactly. freaked out about it. It was great. And, and and so it's like to me, it's like there's this subtlety in Slice of Life. And I've noticed this now with uh, there's a show called Is the Order Rabbit that season three just finished airing, I think, last season. And the character growth that's shown in those shows like you're you're really living like day by day with these characters and that's just the nature of slice of life so i i think because of that the level of character development feels so much smoother than shown an anime where you get essentially exp battles where it feels like and it just sometimes like sometimes it can be really cool uh like uh, I'm trying to think of a specific instance. Um, 
I think one of the uh, best character developments in, in all of anime was uh, Megumi from Food Wars uh, when she goes through the various battles that she has to go through. But then there are some instances where it's like, you know, you get into this loop with Shonen where it's like, okay, Goku has to fight the next big bad guy. And, and then the next a, one, and the next one. It's and just a hair color change. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, where does it end? So to me... I. I would say, you know, we have Slice of Life and Romance at the top, um, probably drama right underneath of that. Um, after that, I, I don't I don't really know. I'd say, you know what I mean, I, I, I hate to say it, but I feel like I, I just don't really like Shonen that much mm-hmm. um, compared to literally every other genre. I, I, I really, That's I, I don't know what and it honestly, is. Honestly, I feel like. Maybe maybe you just haven't found the right isekai shonen. is there too. I think like, I honestly maybe... am pretty tired of isekai at this point. Yeah, just because I, I, I feel I, like it's been a, it's a trend. Like the idea is cool and it's nice. Yeah. Um, but I just feel like there's been a lot of really generic isekai <laughs> okay, things okay. come out lately. So, Actually, maybe I'm wrong because there's like Konosuba no, I mean, and stuff too. So. I think to me personally, and my my buddy and I had a good laugh at this because I watched this show that I'm going to talk about uh, when it came out, like as it was airing weekly. It's this show called. It's, it's literally titled in another world with my smartphone mm-hmm. and i think at that point i realized okay i think i think we've overdone it <laughs> at this point like the character literally feels like a reskin kirito with a literal pimp jacket nice like dance attack Wait, like he literally, like he's literally, like ideal. Like I, I think this is what Main like Steve Jobs man. imagined when sm- he first created the iPhone. Is like you just the ideal like, iPhone two user buttons, does... and then you just explode people. Like I, I don't know if that's you know what I mean. Like I, I, I was wa- I, I just watched the show. I was like, the characters are so generic, and they just put in a random plot device in hopes of making it interesting and i'll see people like me like oh man i like this show and i'm just like you do pal maybe like and i I think the other issue is like i mean you and i both were talking about it we started like what 2012 2013 like that area it's like because like i have everything dated as well like when i watched it and Mm -hmm. i can progressively tell like wow my ratings have gotten harder each and every like i'm an old man now and i just i'm super harsh yeah it's 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 just like you know what i mean i feel like if i were to like rewatch like i rewatched a couple episodes of love hina a couple years ago like one or two years ago and i just like yeah i still really like this but uh, it's it's not as good it hasn't aged as well as i you know i mean compared to when i first watched the show Mm -hmm. and i i I just think that you know i mean uh maybe in another world with my smartphone was somebody's first anime and that's why they're like oh man i love this show which is fine something about it like like whatever you want it's just i i just think that i i'm I'm getting worried that it it'll come to a point where oh i've seen this already or uh, this wasn't as good as X, Y, or Z, mm-hmm. you know? Like like Pokemon. I, we've seen it enough times where I'm like, all right. Pokemon all right, hasn't Pokemon. changed in a very, Give me very something long new. time. Why not just play Pokemon Gold on my Game Boy Color again instead, yeah. you know? And, and, I mean, for me, I have this – I'm going to call it a trait, but I, I have this ability that I can just appreciate – like just shut out the the, the – curmudgeon old people thoughts to just be like in back in my day yeah. um, and i can just appreciate something as it is and, I, and I, i'm a fan of like bad movies and bad things because i just like having fun with it um like i prefer something to be bad and fun than good but very like i don't know Understandable. Like, run-of-the-mill and, and like boring like, like i mean my, this, this is my anime, favorite but, uh-huh. yeah sorry my my That's favorite cool. an- or my favorite movie as a kid and like up until like like two or three years ago was space jam and like I knew that movie was terrible. Looking back at it, it's just awful. But I could but it's watch also that great, right? over and yeah. over and over again. But go on. What were you saying? I'm sorry. It's um, I forgot. It's whatever. It's whatever. So so 
like i can just appreciate things it's cool and i like i like bad movies and like uh bad shows it's like oh um like for example i watched the boys season one of the boys um i don't know if you've seen that i don't know if anybody watching has seen that i've been told to watch it but i haven't um, seen it yet i actually super disliked it i (laughs) super disliked i think it's good i think it's a good show but i didn't have i didn't think the show was fun i didn't oh yeah i didn't enjoy watching the show I mean, right. that's how I so, feel like – I think that's how I feel about Attack on Titan. Like, right, I can like, see – I can watch it and be like, okay, I can get why people like this show, but I don't like it. Thankfully, like, season I, you know season I mean? two of The Boys changed my mind a bit on that, and I had more fun with that and stuff. But that's not the only thing. There's been, like, uh, Mandalorian. I also watched Mandalorian. I was like, wow, this is – yeah, this is a good show, um, but – it's maybe not for you. It's not. It's not the best thing I've ever seen, and it's not – yeah, it's not, like, my favorite show. Uh, WandaVision yeah, I finished no, recently. I and I think WandaVision's a a pretty good show. I like the commentary it makes. I like the they look. You can watch something, and I, I like shows like that too. And this is kind of a, a branch, but something that I watch, and I know the people working on it had a fun time working on this show. And it seems like the show has like a soul and stuff like that. I felt like with WandaVision, I was like, wow, this show is. I can tell the people making this really cared, and they seem to have fun with it, and it's interesting, and it's cool. Um, but it's I not get, the best yeah, thing I've. Agree. It's not the yeah. best thing I've ever seen. Uh, there was a few moments where I was just like, damn, that's some good TV. Like yeah. and, and every show can have that, right? A really bad show can just have a moment or a scene where you're just like, oh, Whoa, oh absolutely, man, absolutely. that was kind of good. Shows where I'm like, this is the worst show I've ever seen, and then they'll have this one moment, and then I'll be like, oh crap! Like if only every episode was like this. Yes, because exactly. then I'd really, really like it. You know? Yeah, but and that's just you know getting into taste and stuff like that. But yeah, no, it's not everything is gonna be for everyone. It never works that way and more sometimes people are more vocal about it than others but I, so not everyone will be pleased and yeah. that, that's okay you know what i mean and, and just move on <laughs> wrapping wrapping back into like the tier list thing i actually think that i was gonna put if i had to make one i think i put sports anime kind of oh kinda i didn't even think about that because yes. sports anime that is, is one that genre, i watch like, too like, much like, i haven't yeah. watched too much sports anime but i can just like tell Right, as an as- oh, I, I like, feel like it's, it's like the subset of Shonen because you have like Haikyuu, for instance, which is mm-hmm. a it's Shonen Jump, but it doesn't like, like it it it's not your stereotypical like oh gosh fist fight you know yeah. monster people type thing. And I that I, I was I was told to watch that show a couple times, and I was just like ah, it's probably one of those ones where it's like oh man, like everybody else likes it, and I'll just be like yeah, it's it's fine, like Attack on Titan. But then I watched. I was like, "Oh my god, this is great!" Wait a second. There's some. So there's good. something here. Yeah, it's so good. I. I mean, like you know, I mean, I, that's one of the ones I. I watched dubbed just because I think it's easier to appreciate. Mm-hmm. Like while it's in motion, I don't have to like you know look down every yeah. five seconds to read subtitles. But I, there's this other one that is like borderline sh- sports. It's called Keijo. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Um, but, is the one where um, they battle with their butts? Yes. <laughs> and uh, honestly, like I, I, I watched it as a joke, uh-huh. but then I was just like, wait a minute, this is actually like really, really good. And uh-huh. you know what I mean? I, I, I love shows like that where you're like, okay, but like, like you know what I mean? We've talked about like Rent a Girlfriend on our news show every once in a while, and I was just like, yes, this sounds like questionable, so stupid, yes. so bad, so questionable. But it turned out really, really good, and and it's borderline sports because I think it was Portugal. I think it was some Spanish or, you know, Portuguese speaking country that did this. But they tried to make Keijo a real sport, and That's so hilarious. that is why it is a borderline sports anime. But yeah, no, I agree with you. Uh, there's a lot of the Prince of Stride I watched, which is like oh, it's uh, in that I genre. Mean, get to that, yeah, yeah, it's it's in that genre of it's the opposite of like a. Like a bishojo game is like what Clanad is, or you know, like the standard dating sim. This is the, like the source material for Princess Stride is the opposite of that. So it's like girl main character, all these handsome looking guys that you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to end up with one. So I was like a little hesitant at first to watch it, but as somebody who like I I did track and feel like, a, and it's like so it's like relay race parkour style. Uh-huh. It was awesome. You know what I mean? So. It, Sports, sports to me, yeah, it's up there. I didn't even consider that, uh, but I'm glad you mentioned it. Yeah, it's a really good genre. There is, I think it is just a, a very good genre, and I think like some like more like intermediate 
or like you know maybe even some novice like anime watchers and stuff like that and I, I don't mean to start ranking people but just like due to experience no, stuff no, like I, that no I get what you mean yeah there's just like oh why would I ever why would I care like food wars why do I care about people cooking right like why would yeah. I why would I watch that <laughs> but honestly there was a point where I was watching and I just had genuine interest in like seeing like hearing about the recipes I, I read all of food wars I didn't, I didn't watch okay. it yeah yeah um my mom likes food wars actually and, She's and it's seen just some of it yeah it's it's just <laughs> cool right like things like that with like um i do a lot more like manga reading nowadays and i do like uh-huh, anime yeah. watching My um, i have a buddy that's like that yeah too. and i have i have a question that will we'll kind of talk about this in a second but yeah. um it's just good because like it's it's shown in but it's different in the sense of there's one you're, you're sometimes learning about cooking and like mm-hmm. and like and i mean uh with me and um Shigeki, there was like a point where um, I I don't I don't know how far the anime is in, right? I don't oh, know the anime's it, done. It's oh, it's it done is, too. It's, okay, it's so, completed. Yeah, I don't know if it, I don't know if it ended the same way that the manga. Ended. It ends. I I I think I took a glimpse of it, and it's a little different in how they pace, like in terms of like the 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 last three like time skip whatever stuff uh-huh. you know what i mean but like it's very similar so yeah. so there was like i know that there was definitely a point in like the last arc where it was like everyone is like a super foodie and they got some sort of crazy power yeah. and they got like the chainsaw girl and everything and i was just like okay yeah, you got the guy right, who's guys. like literally yeah he's got like like i don't know if you've seen fate stay night or like any of it i've only seen a little bit of it uh-huh. but the uh, unlimited blade works power where like every weapon he's ever touched he just learns to, yeah like, recreate it's the same thing in food wars and the same thing in keijo too there's there's a character that does the same thing where every type of attack she's seen she's able to do and, and but, uh, those concepts funny, are cool like, right yeah but you know i food wars at at some point started to become this it got i guess i, I can call it dragon ball syndrome mm-hmm. where what can we do past this because you know we had all these really epic battles and then it just starts stacking okay who's the next chef that i have to face who's the next best chef who's the next and it's just like that's really the conundrum i think that's the right word uh was shown in genre is that eventually you have to find a point to end it and in food wars case it wasn't pretty it was just a little bit it's just like a tiny bit they, they extended just a tiny bit too far to me and, and the time skips in the end were kind of weird too like yeah had, like... I, I think I, I think to me it's like they're they're what like i was thinking about it with my friend and um obviously i'm gonna spoil it a little bit for anybody who hasn't seen oh yeah it whoops like we that. definitely had some food wars spoilers there um, yeah and we're gonna have a couple more yeah. here in a sec but to me i think i think the way they could have fixed the show was after the uh, season four ends with the team shokugeki battle like um like the the very last fight there and when soma becomes the number one seat with arena as the um as the uh whatever president or head head headmaster whatever i I think if they would have changed it to where soma would have been number two officially number two like technically he's number two at that point Mm -hmm. if 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 he still had something to To strive strive for for. it would have felt a little less awkward they could have i feel like they could have wrapped it in a bow with the last season being a i don't know maybe final 10 tournament with like megami arena whoever else was in the top 10 at that point and that could have just wrapped it up nicely let soma Mm -hmm. be the king whatever however you want to end it um but to me it's like once they decided to give him that number one spot that okay was that was the point of the yeah. show and like you have stuff like that with like soul eater the whole point was for him to become this death scythe and with the anime it's like you know what i mean are we going to get there like you know what i mean so to me it's like okay we've we've reached the top and then now we have this awkward post game story essentially and it's just like well what's the point like and I think I think you have to the way to ch- beat that is to set like smaller goals, not set like your biggest goal from the top, and so that way you yeah. feel like you're actually progressing. Like I think One Piece does a pretty good job of this, but also One Piece is like a a beast it's, in itself. Yeah, right. I have not like, seen One Piece at all. But... It's like, hey, let's get to to let's. The, I gotta start a a pirate crew. I gotta be a pirate. All right. Well, I have a ship or something. I need a ship now. I need like you know. You're just like collecting and doing these small achievable goals. Um, 
and all and I, in the, in the me, mean of like getting to the big grand goal right but the pacing yeah, yeah, of yeah. it makes every smaller or like you know quote unquote lesser goal feel really important oh well, yeah like, and I, I think that to me is why in at least like uh coming back to food wars i i think megami is the best character because we we slowly see her grow and it doesn't it doesn't feel like we're taking these huge steps like we do with some of these other characters in Shonen, like Megami, like slowly, and uh, albeit I wasn't happy with how it, her her character ended the last two seasons or whatever, but like with the point where she's she's almost kicked out, she has to have a shokugeki against the teacher, all this other stuff, like, and then she has the big battle where she's cutting the fish, all that type of stuff, like, felt like growth. While with Shonen, other times it's like. Yeah, we're there. You, know you just mean? wake it's up like, one day. Okay. I'm stronger now. Yeah, exactly. And it's just it, it doesn't feel natural. And like that, like I said, that's why I feel like slice of life. That area, John, like those genres related to slice of life, just feel stronger in in that regard. Because it's like it's, it's pacing is very important in slice of life. Yeah, exactly. Because right? exactly. like it's supposed to be on a day to day basis. It's supposed to seem like progression is nominal things like that right love is war yeah, kind of works yeah. in the same way too right like you know you see these altercations and they get crazier and things happen and things change but um it's all like consistent for the most there's part, no right? time skip nonsense yeah. most of the time like, most of the time ever okay. see that. Yeah. um so i was gonna this is a question that i was gonna like bring up now because we talked a little bit of it but so you've watched a lot of stuff right yeah. And I'm sure you've watched <laughs> anime originals versus things that come from, like, manga or light novel yeah, source yeah, material. Definitely, definitely. Do you feel like there is a comparable, um, I guess not, uh, quality? Is there a comparable quality from anime originals to something that's strictly based off a light novel or strictly based off a manga or something like that? Um, yeah, yeah. Have you come um, across something like that? I, I, I think, I think, like... I'm gonna to try to answer the question because I, mm-hmm. I think I kind of understand what you're saying, but mm-hmm. if I if I misunderstood, let me know. Okay. But I, I, when it comes to watching shows versus, you know, some people will be like, "Oh, I already read the manga," or I watched season one and then I was like, "Okay, let me read the manga now." Mm-hmm. Um, to me, there is a certain genre where you're like, "Okay, um, I'd rather watch it." before i enjoy the source and there's other genre or other source materials where you're like okay i'd rather appreciate this first and then watch the anime um so it can be kind of tricky uh like for instance i love visual novels um key uh key visual arts they created clanad they created angel beats and i think i think this is actually the perfect company to like kind of uh look at when we're talking about what you're saying between mm-hmm. anime original and source material uh anime original wise key did angel beats they did charlotte they did uh the most recent one they did was the day i became a god and it felt like a lot of times uh and the creator even mentioned this he was like with angel beats in particular i ran out of time i couldn't fit everything i wanted to in these 13 episodes Compared to, say, Clannad that has, I think it's 40 to 50, uh, I think it's 45, 50 episodes, he, we already had that base there to where, okay, we need to include this, 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 and this, and I feel like, at least with Key, the pacing's a lot better there. Granted, there are other series where it's like, okay, anime originals are really, really good. Um, I, I'm trying to think, oh, PA Works, for instance, um, their one show, Shiro Bako, to me is one of like it's not my favorite. Like, I think there's a distinct distinction between your favorites versus what you think are the best, right? Mm-hmm, for sure. And for me, Shiro Bako is one of the greatest anime I've ever seen. A movie's coming out soon, so I'm pretty excited about that. But um, that was all completely original. And then that like that that to me is like okay, one of the best shows ever. And then PA Works comes around again with originals like Glass Slip and Fairy Gone that I mentioned earlier. That were complete bombs. So there will be times where it's like anime original can be perfect because they know exactly what they want to do. They have really good ideas with it. Um, it's, you know what I mean? We've seen with manga where it's like, oh, they didn't adapt this. Or with Promise Neverland, for instance. I'm, I'm they're not that, yeah. they're not going straight with, you know, the manga. It's not exactly the same. 
Oh wait a second! Um, I didn't. I don't know. Promise Neverland was was diverting. Yeah, they, they they like they announced it like right before season two started. They're like, okay, like there is a anime only scenario. Oh, they, like with uh, with like Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah, I Tokyo guess so. Did that. I, I'm not positive. Uh, I actually haven't seen Tokyo Ghoul because I've been told to avoid it. Re- uh, and read, well, okay, read the, where... I was told to read the manga instead if I'd ever want to enjoy it. Okay. But anyway, um, to me, it's like it it's a there. It, it's difficult because I think anime originals, you either knock it out of the park or they're just garbage. And we, I, like I said, key key uh, visual arts, Angel Beats knocks it out of the park. The Day I Became a God, not so much. Um, Shirobako knocks it out of the park. Glass Slip, one of the worst shows I've ever seen. So it's like, it, it it's tough because... It's tough because you'll be like, okay, I like this studio. They always, they normally have good ideas, but do I want to sit through 13 episodes of pure garbage if it ends up being a miss? With manga, it's, you know what I mean? If you haven't seen the source, good sometimes because it's yeah. like, okay, I won't have to complain if they don't put in my favorite part. Exactly. There, granted, there are some like Ace Attorney. Um, the second game. When they adapted that, there was a specific case where I was like, this is the worst part of the games. And I don't know if you've ever played it before, but there's this one case that I sat through. And I was like, this is garbage. Like, I, I just want to get through it. And I, I think part of it was because um, my save data deleted, so I had to oh, replay the no. case over again. So maybe yeah. I just have bad taste, bad memories from that. Yeah. But when I watched it in the anime, I was like, this was actually better than the source. This, they, they actually made me enjoy it a lot more than I thought I was going to. So I to, I, I guess to answer your question, it's like I, it, it's a toss up, really. I, mm-hmm. It really depends on your studio. It depends on your director. It depends on the source. I, and I think um, all that production stuff. I think it's kind of the the answer I expected. Um, sorry to, to hit you with like a no, big no, question. Right. No, but, sorry. And like uh, to touch on like what you were talking about that, you know, sometimes you want to like oh, I want to read this or I want to watch this or something else. Like like I said, nowadays I really um, read manga primarily, right? I have, like, my Viz app and I log on and hey, um, yeah. I'm going to do that probably after we're done here and I'm going to read, like, my Dr. Stone <laughs> and my My Hero for the day and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mainly because I just, like, I feel like if I'm behind, manga is really easy to consume and I like reading and I feel like, to me, things that are, like, light novels or mangas, first, the, the writing is important right and there's a lot of times yeah, where the anime definitely, will be definitely. good it'll look good but the writing kind of fails and right and visuals can only take you so yeah. far but there's things no, I that understand. i watch both of right like i watch um i read and watch one punch man okay. um because yeah. i think at least especially season one season one was super super great um and i like the story a lot for season two so i watched I, I had already read it i watched it anyways there's a few things i only watch jojo i don't read jojo that's mainly mm-hmm. to avoid spoilers but that also yeah. might be just because I enjoy the anime as so, it is. So much that you're right. like, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to read the manga and then already know what to expect. And I, I think that to me is why I'm not a big manga reader. Like, um, quintessential quintuplets. It's slowly leaking into my top ten. Right. I I may have been spoiled on the ending. I don't know. There was a leak a leak apparently oh, like no. year like a year ago and like people were freaking out about it. I don't know if that leak ended up being true or not. I've been shielding my eyes since then. But yeah, I could I could oh I could rush to read the manga and you know what I mean. Know all but the stuff. And know everything that happens before I do get spoiled. But at the same time it's like season two, they switch studios. It's so pretty. I'm enjoying it so much. It's like do I really want to force myself to rush through it all, rush through the experience just to, you know what I mean, just to know what happens? Or do I want to just sit here, slowly consume it and enjoy it? And I, I, to me, the only the only um, media that I prefer to uh, read before watching the anime is visual novels. I, I just think that makes sense. I, I don't know what exactly is about it. I, I guess the production value of a visual novel to me is just almost, if not better than an anime mm-hmm. at times. Like, you know, because like, you'll get like 50 hours worth of writing in some games. And it's just like animates, like we talked about, condense. anime has to skip over. Yeah. They have to condense. And sometimes if you, like if your favorite character is the, the third most important, 
I mean, are you going to get everything exactly? Are are you going to get everything you want out of that? Um, manga for me, it's like I really like seeing it in motion, so I'd rather watch. Like I, I feel like that's like a like a really like dumb thing to. No, that's totally understandable. I have a friend of mine that's like, the same, right? But I'm just like, oh, I like picture. I, I like moving picture. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's like, I mean, I, I definitely get I, it. I don't know. There, there was times like Hori, Hori Mia, um, I read like a chap. I read like the first three or four chapters a couple years ago. And I was like, this stuff's so good. It's probably got to get an anime. I'll just wait. And, and the anime is airing right now. Yeah. But I was told I was told the other day they're like, dude, you should have just read it because they skip a lot of stuff, and they have been skipping a lot of stuff. I acknowledge that, so I'll probably read it afterwards. But you know, it's I I don't know. I I, I try my best to try to pick and choose which ones. Like if it's an anime, I'm really 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 enjoying. Normally, I'm going to um, wait because uh, wait to just watch it rather than read it but for mm-hmm. some reason with visual novels i guess because it's already completed like manga ne- not necessarily is always already completed you know what i mean like mm, my yeah. hero it's not i don't i don't think my hero is done as far no. as i'm concerned no. so, hunter hunter it'll be not uncompleted for it, exactly right for, so so yeah. to me it's like to me it's like okay with visual novels oh it's right there in front of me maybe i'll play. like danganronpa i watched the first episode of that and i was like I, and then i had proceeded to play the game in like three days I was just like, oh, this is so good. I want more of this. I, it's, I don't know. I, I think the other thing is, I'm very like, especially nowadays. I, I used to be, you know, one of those kiss anime guys. Now I'm Crunchyroll, Verve, Funimation. Very much I on the straight and narrow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's like with with manga. Do I really want to have to like morally do? I work at a church, right? Yeah. So I feel like I, I feel like if I'm like. Oh, let's read manga online from not so reputable you know, sources. Reputable sources with, with the ads that have exactly like the, yeah, the right, threats. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's like to me, it's like, do I want to pay? I mean, looks up, looks up. Is this cool? There, Are there's we cool? Like Spice and Wolf that <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, I, I feel like obligated to read the late novel at this point because it's like, unless it's like Devil is a Part Timer where we, by a miracle, finally get a new season of it. Like, I saw, I saw, yeah, I heard of them. Do yeah. I want to wait this long, or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Should I start consuming it now, because it'll never happen, I'll never know the end of the story otherwise. And, and I, I get you, and I mean, with me, it's like, I prefer manga just because I can fit manga in easily throughout my day, and stuff That's like fair. that. That's fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and I, I just have a lot of appreciation for, like, 2D art, and um, it's like it's what I do, and it's what I like, and I think that's mm-hmm. really pretty. But there's some things that I know that I'm reading, and I'm just like, wow, I can't wait to actually watch that once it gets an anime. Like, and yeah, the, no, I get you definitely. Because yeah. like Chainsaw Man, we're getting a Chainsaw Man <laughs> anime sometime soon. And Chainsaw yeah, Man yeah. is one of my favorite things, just because it's it's really dumb, and I have so much fun with it. And I know that I can't wait because it has some gorgeous, gorgeous panels in in the manga, and I just hope that the you know the studio behind it can really bring to life these like crazy. It's so exciting when something crazy, you yeah. you already have been reading or you already like you already played the video game, for instance. It's like when when you when you see oh anime announced, you're just like most of the time you're like yeah, and then there'll be like like there was one or two times where I was just like oh like I. I'm worried that I'm going to end up hating this. And like one of my favorite games, uh, you know, we're jumping. I, I, I mentioned key before with Clinet. Mm-hmm. Uh rewrite is one of my favorite games. And I was so excited when they're like, Oh, okay. We're, we're finally going to, we're finally going to give it an anime. And I, cause I've been waiting years for it. And I was like thinking to myself, if they, because the game's so long, it is obnoxiously long to the point where to me it needed to be longer than Clanad and it was half the length of Clanad when oh, they decided no. to do it. And so so uh you know you have your normal common route where he meets all the characters and then they're like, okay, we're gonna adapt because Rewrite Plus is coming to America finally. They they're finally bringing it over to uh, English speaking countries and they're like, okay, we're gonna adapt the uh we're gonna make an anime out of the route that is the new route to the plus game, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, so the new exclusive route, we're not going to animate. <laughs> like the the whole premise of it is that he feels like like with visual novels, you know how you have to go through each route. There's to get a decision tree you, you know, end up stuff, with yeah. whatever. 
So in that game, uh, there's a point where he's conscious to the fact that he has gone through the various branches. And so in the anime, they go, th- they, they give you like five pictures of the endings of all the fantastic stories. And then they're like, all right, here's the last story. But this the is the one that we're one. doing. <laughs> and I'm just like, I was just like, I felt betrayed. Honestly. That always like a huge letdown slash spoiler to people that don't like haven't played the games and stuff. But yeah, it's that's like, so me, I was, bizarre. I was just like, I was because, I, like I said, I, I to me, it's it's one of my favorite video games. And I was telling everybody, I was like, guys, if they do this correctly, this is gonna be better than Clannad. This is gonna be better than Angel Beats. It's gonna be one of the best anime of all time. And then for that to happen, I was just like. I, I guess I still like it because it's like I get to see my favorite characters moving, whatever, I guess. But when I didn't get to see – like some people will never get to experience those stories. And I think that's the most heartbreaking point of it to me because I was just like – I like when people get into things that I'm into. Mm-hmm. And like to, to me – because like I, I, I majored in communications, so storytelling and – uh, getting a message out are like things that I'm all about, and the fact that people will like people will be like, okay, the anime was kind of crap. Why would I ever play this game? Exactly, right? And that's what anime's for half the time. It's to advertise, and I feel like they ruined it. And I'm just like, I feel Man. like that a lot with some other things, like with JoJo. I feel like often here, like, oh yeah, I saw like an episode, and I just nah, I didn't care for it. And I was like, no, you're you don't understand, like. Like you're missing out on so much, cause I just like and and I've gotten some people like uh, my girlfriend she didn't she didn't care for it and like we got the first like the first beginning part and then we started Joseph, um who's my I my need to lo- watch it eventually I still my love it watching it that's yeah. my love right there and then she was like wait a second, this is kind of good and now we're like we're both like super into it, but um. You've seen because you you were talking earlier how you like Moe, but you've seen mm-hmm. Lucky Star, right? Yes, Lucky Star was like I think after Watamode we saw Lucky Star. Yeah, historically everyone says Lucky Star has one of the worst first episodes of all time, and I agree with that. They're talking about how you eat a pastry for like fifteen minutes, right, from the top and from the bottom, the chocolate leak out or the chocolate leak in, whatever. And once you get past that, it is it's one of the one of the best of its genre, really, yeah. and. I I agree with you. It's like it really sucks when things I we, we call it the three episode rule a lot. Yes, that's like, what I do as well. Three, yeah. I was just about to mention. And that. if you like it at that point, you know what I mean, you might really really like it. If it's not for you, okay, drop it and then stop telling me how much you hated it because mm-hmm. I liked the sh- you know what I mean. Yeah. And like there there are certain shows where I tell my best friend not to watch it because I know he'll not like it and then he'll point out all the flaws to me and then I won't like it anymore. <laughs> And so, you know what I mean? So I, th- I think the episode, the three episode rule, like I- I'm personally somebody who has to finish everything I watch because it's just like, I, yeah, I don't want to okay. miss out. Uh-huh. But um, I think it's a very good rule for people that just watch anime like pretty casually and they don't want to waste a lot of time on things they don't like. Yeah. And, so, and yeah. I think it's fair. Like I, I did it with Evangelion now, right? I did yeah. the first three and I, the first one was like, okay, it's kind of interesting. And now we're getting into it now, and I'm enjoying the show. I haven't hit that point where it's like, wow this show is masterpiece yeah. right like no I, and, I and again that might just be because like i'm i'm dunce and i i don't get it and it's not resonating with me and uh but it has That's been how i feel with some shows good, i'm right? like i'm like an idiot right yeah. like i i don't clearly there's it. something here yeah. <laughs> clearly I, i'm stupid let me clean my I glasses let me <laughs> i don't know what to tell you but no, even even Gilly, it's definitely one of those because uh, and the other issue is it's from 1995. It had budget problems towards the end of the series, so it it's wonky. So a lot of people say watch the movie afterwards; you might understand it a little bit better. Um, we'll see. I understand where you're coming from when yeah. it comes to that. Um, to kind of wrap up here, since we're getting close yeah, to time, yeah, yeah. do you have any quick recommendations for? The novice, the intermediate, and the veteran. Oh, that's tough. Hold on, I actually let me let me pull up my yeah yeah get, get your resources. I'll get your textbook I'll, out I'll, and stuff. I'll, I'll talk. Um. Okay, I, I guess I guess my novice pick uh-huh. would either be. 
I think high Q is always a good one. I think uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good too. I think high Q is a good one, and then maybe maybe if you're like a novice leaking into that intermediate category, uh-huh. you have um, Gurren Lagann. I think that's a good one. I love Gurren Lagann. Um, I love Angel, I love Studio Trigger. Angel a Beef lot. is also a pretty good one to start off with. I think. Um, I think I think so. Too. I think like. I like the I know I was you were getting into it, but I like the yeah. idea of like when you recommend something to someone, not it not being shown in, because I think so so often nowadays anime is compared to just shown in, right? Like that's what people yeah. think, and so getting them into like a slice of life or romance or comedy or something that's quote unquote alternative, um, that just opens their eyes, right? Because Watamode opened my eyes. That yeah. I was like, wow, there's a whole well, I, world. I think I think you have to sprinkle uh, them with the shonen first because mm-hmm. they're almost comfortable with it if they're like an Avengers fan. Oh like, yeah, for sure. They'll be comfortable watching that. Like it, like Black Lagoon. I think is another one. Like that's, that's like you know what I mean. If you've ever played like Call of Duty or Uncharted or anything like that, where it's like shoot 'em up, bang 'em up. If you if you if you like that type of stuff, Black Lagoon's a good place to start. I think because it's it's that hardcore action. And I, I then I think after that, once they get kind of used to it, it's like okay, well now here I guess intermediate wise, I, I don't know like. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I think I think once you get into intermediate, you start watching that romancy drama stuff. So you have like Rascal Never Dreams of Bunny Girl Senpai. That's a really popular one mm-hmm. now that it's being that was like, good. oh a beginner one. That's like my second favorite show. But like right underneath K on is Bunny Senpai. Um I think Spice and Wolf is a good one. Or Spice and Wolf's probably at that point where it's like like we were talking about with evangelion where it's like i feel like an idiot if i don't like it so maybe that's more of the advanced stuff um the refined taste yeah i I think i think the middle middle uh the intermediate like you got like clanad you got uh i'm trying to think what else there is like anything that's like that romancy drama stuff i would say is that intermediate uh point and then when you get to advanced you can go two ways right you can go slice of life, literally like how is this appealing to anyone because it's literally just normal nuanced things. And then you can go to that psychological genre of Danganronpa and Gakugarashi and some uh, really like Evangelion. adult type thing. Like psychopath and psychopath. Yeah. Psycho- one yeah. Really good. Anything that's like like you need a college degree to understand this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anything like that, I feel like okay, that that's your, um, that's your advanced stuff. So it's either that super super moe genre, or the complete opposite yeah, psychological yeah, like stuff, Death Parade and, or something. It, 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 it's just it's just hard because because I feel like you either become that. I feel like there's like two types of like the weeb, like. You know what I mean? Uh So you have your ones that are like, okay, like I like all this like hardcore actiony stuff, and I'm comfortable with it. I don't want to. I I don't feel like exploring anything else because, and it's not like isekai. You know what I mean? All that other type of stuff, and that's okay. That's fine. Like I, I I don't hate you if you're in that category. Like those are the types of people that might gravitate towards like that psychopath stuff that we're Mm -hmm. talking about, like that that level of advanced where it still has those action themes. And then there's the side that I think you and I are both on, where it's like, okay, cute girls. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah brother. Yeah, right? That's all you have to tell. It's all you have to tell them. And you're like, yeah. We yeah, spent yeah. we spent a whole episode and, talking about strawberry on shortcake. Let's yeah, right, go. Right? Yeah, I mean, like, like, like that to me, it's like uh, that's the other like mega weeb section, and you you get both of those. And they can be friends with each other sometimes. So, the hard, really hardcore ones cannot. Yeah. They cannot, and that's fine. Like okay, but to me, it's like you, you. I, I think I think sometimes if you start like everybody, I think starts with that shonen like Dragon Ball or Pokemon or like I, I consider Pokemon kind of shoneny. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody starts off with that stuff, and then the question is. If you enjoy the sprinkle, or if you don't enjoy the sprinkle, when you start getting towards drama, comedy, uh, romance. Yes, it's like if you enjoy it, you join the cute girl side. If you don't enjoy it, you join the psychological side. Whatever. I mean, like, oh, can... I only watch, 
I only watch whatever's on the top 10 list of my anime list. And that, like, you know what I mean? You get your Gintama, yeah, the connoisseur. You get Attack on Titan, you get One Piece. That's fine if you're, if you're re zero. If, you, if you're comfortable there, hey, good on you. And watch what you like, enjoy what you exactly. like. Exactly. Um, but, but, like, don't be scared to explore, right? Because I feel like. That's don't like, be scared to explore, but also don't force yourself. Yeah. To like something because if you're then not you're into just horror, hate it even more. don't watch horror. If yeah, you don't like, exactly. you know, if you don't, if you don't care about watching cute high school girls live their life, don't <laughs> do that either. Like, and and the thing is too is like you write like if you're if you're a beginner into getting into it, um, watch something easy to digest, something that's interesting, something that you can just get into so you can get used to it, you can get um, more familiar with what the tropes and themes and stuff you'll see. And if you're, you know, after you've watched, you have a few under your belt, start, like, exploring, say, prodding, exploring your options, dip your feet into some other stuff. And then once you're advanced, you can just make, you can call the shots from that think, point on, right? Yeah. And I, I think, um, like, now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more, we were talking, I was talking about how, you know, shonen people, like, Avengers fans will be comfortable in that shonen genre. To me, I think it's funny because if you're watching stuff like Grey's Anatomy and The Office, it's like The Office is slice is a slice of life show. Honestly, it is it's a, a comedy slice of life show. Co- comedy it slash comedy. romance. Um, exactly. Right. If you like that stuff, you might be able to start with the cute girl side already, and like that's cool. If you, you just, like, if you, you like Grey's Anatomy, that they're the same thing. You, yeah, exactly. So I mean, I I would, you know, I'd say overall the easiest thing to start is with Shonen. But if you already lean towards, you know, that, uh, you know what I mean, comedy shows or drama shows, you might want to just hop into that genre to start with and s- see if you like it at all. Because, like, I mean, like, there are some people that are absolutely obsessed with K-dramas, yet mm-hmm. they've never watched an anime. And that doesn't make sense to me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, cl- closely linked. Like, 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 to me, it's like, if you like a genre of a show then it shouldn't matter what medium, medium it is. Yeah. You like that genre. And so, you know what I mean? Like, whether it's manga, light novel, movie, anime, cartoon, if you like the genre, you'll like it regardless. So Most, yeah, like the majority of the time, Explore, right? like, yeah. like, like, like you were saying, explore, but don't force. All right. Well, thanks. That's <laughs> that's about it for today. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for talking. I really yeah, appreciate thanks you coming for ha- on. It's weird being a guest. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, you're the usually new- the one running. I- I'm yeah. usually the one running it with the news, or like when I was in college, I had podcasts for projects that I have to do, and I'd always be the person that had to bring the guest on. Yeah, it- the, the tables cool have side. turned. Yeah, yeah it's, it's nice. A cool side. So thanks for having me. I'm gonna I'm gonna get with touch with you so we can get all your like information. I'll put it in the description so you guys can yeah. find out where you can watch all the TLMC um, <laughs> content at. Thanks again yes. for joining us. Thanks again for hanging out. I really appreciate you guys. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you want us to talk about. Is, is there an anime that you like that we didn't mention? Is there an anime that we mentioned that you disagree our opinions with? Let us <laughs> let us know. I think I can think of one. I can think of, of one off the top of my head. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what's what side do you reside on? Do you <laughs> the nitty gritty or the cute moe side? But from from all of us here. Thanks again. Oh, it looks like, oh, did we get Christian frozen? Christian's, oh, no, you're good now. Okay, you were frozen for a second there. You're just, anyways, all right. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace out.